The invisibility spell was announced and there was a lot of questions. So I wanted to answer all of them in this video. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. You seen my introductory video to the invisibility spell yesterday as the sneak peek video. But there were so many questions in the comments, on my YouTube, on Instagram, echoing across the internet. So I wanted to answer all of them, provide you with a video so you knew everything there is to know about the invisibility spell. No sneak peek as such today. Clash of Clans did release a video a few hours ago, again referencing the log. What does it mean? What do you expect? What do you hope for? Let me know and we will be returning with sneak peek videos very soon. So be sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you see the update gameplay as soon as I am allowed to bring it. We are getting so close to 400,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Firstly, does the invisibility spell trigger traps and Tesla? Let's deploy the Barbarian King. We see the Tesla pops if we walk him further forward the giant bomb also goes off because similar to the archer queen's royal cloak he is invisible not invincible despite what i was saying yesterday i know i kept calling the invisibility spell the invincibility spell and honestly i just hadn't read it properly i did realize post edit you guys let me know in the comments but it's the invisibility spell and it does trigger traps whilst we are on the subject of traps somebody asked if it would turn the skeletons from the skeleton trap invisible you can see that once the royal champion locks onto the skellies we use the invisibility spell it will cause the royal champion to ignore the skeletons the invisibility spell is unlocked at town hall 11 by upgrading your spell factory to level 6 you can upgrade it in the lab to level 2 and then you can upgrade it to level 3 at town hall 12 and level 4 at town hall 13 but i was asked a lot do we have any extra spell slots because we have to upgrade the spell factory? No is the simple answer. You can still only take 11 spell slots. But there is something very important that you need to know. Whenever you are upgrading the spell factory from level 5 to 6, it is 7 days and 4.8 million elixir. You cannot brew any spells whilst it is upgrading. So my advice would be when you upgrade your spell factory, you have a book of building ready or you upgrade it with a hammer of building. Really interesting question. Does the invisibility spell have an impact on the E-drag chain? You can see that it does not. The building is still there, so it will chain to it. The only way it would impact is if you were to make the initial building that the E-drag was targeting invisible. It would then cause the E-drag to retarget, but the chain will still hit the building. This is where it gets interesting though, and I do think this will be a pro way to use the invisibility spell. The Royal Champion Shield. So you know that certain buildings can be hit with a one shot due to the shield. If we place the invisibility spell onto the cannon, the mortar, then we use the shield, it bounces around the defenses in order to one shot the air defenses. That will definitely be a major way to use the invisibility spell. I wanted to do this again, not covering the bomb tower, just in case anybody thought that the shield would have gone around it. Absolutely not. But this gameplay also demonstrates the extra five levels on the royal champion. She will now one shot the bomb tower with her shield with previously she could not i did explain this and all of the other changes we are getting in my sneak peek one video which i will link at the end of this one if it was 99 percent with only a builder hut remaining and you used the invisibility spell would the troops ignore it unsurprisingly i did not answer this in yesterday's sneak peek video because i never thought of it but it was asked a lot and that's the purpose of this video. I will summarize the mechanics of the spell, the best uses at the end, so that you have a complete video with everything you need to know about the spell, even though I appreciate I did mention some of that briefly yesterday. But I tested this one out for you on the developer build where we get to showcase sneak peeks. And yes, if it is 99%, there is a builder hut, and you use the invisibility spell on the builder hut, your troops will ignore it because it is invisible. The spell works on defenses, buildings, your troops, everything. 
So if you use it on a builder hut, they will ignore it. And it could even cost you the attack. Will the invisibility spell cause the Eagle Artillery to redirect? It will, but there's a little bit more to this. I place the Yeti Army, wait until the Eagle fires, and then use the invisibility spell. As you can see, it's already fired towards the Yetis, so they still take damage because they are invisible, not invincible. Then I use the invisibility spell before the Eagle fires, and because they are invisible before it fires, it redirects to the King. Also, if you place the spell on the Eagle Artillery, it will still fire, because it's still there, it's just invisible. Will defending Clan Castle troops attack my troops if I use an invisibility spell? I have lured out the Clan Castle troops, I have my Queen charged, they are coming across, and there's a trick here. I use the poison, then the invisibility, and a barbarian at the other side. This pulls the troops back across the poison, then when the invisibility spell expires, they go back across the poison for a third time. So it's a nice way to take out the pesky super minions for a Queen charge, and in answer to the question, yes, Clan Castle troops will ignore your troops if you use an invisibility spell. Finishing off this replay, I also got asked, would the healers still heal the queen if she is invisible? Well, because they are your troops, they can still see each other. So if you use the invisibility spell on the queen or the healers, they can still heal through that. Massive shout out to Code Judo. Remember, if you're making any purchases in game, be sure to support your favorite content creator. My code is Judo, and it is much appreciated, my friends. When somebody asked me about the Clan Castle troops, it made me wonder. Think about the pesky bases where you can't get in to lure the CC. Maybe this is something the invisibility spell could be used for. I think it's a very risky strategy. You might not get the full CC pull but something I thought was useful to mention in this video. Mechanics and best use cases. I went over this somewhat yesterday, so that's why I put it towards the end of the video, but the invisibility spell can be used on your troops to make them invisible, or the defender's buildings to mean that your troops cannot see the buildings and therefore retarget them elsewhere. Now, the thing you have to be careful of when you are deploying it on your troops is that you don't clip the building you want them to go to. Otherwise, they will just ignore that building and go right on past it. Therefore, you are going to have to be careful on placement if you want your troops to attack the defenses directly in front of your troops. It just means that spell placement can be really difficult with the invisibility spell. The other use is to make buildings invisible so your troops can path elsewhere. In this case, I turn the expo and cannon invisible so the e-drags hit the air defense. Notice how I place it, whereby the e-drags are also invisible to the air defense. So a little bit more pro placement to make sure that you are hitting multiple objectives. There are two things that the invisibility spell will not impact. The first one is walls. Whilst you can make your opponent's buildings invisible, it will not impact the walls. You cannot redirect wall breakers. Before I get to the second, I want to let you know I think this spell is going to be great for funneling and adapting. Such as if your queen is about to walk, you can place the invisibility spell on the non-defensive buildings to redirect her into the base. And this could be used for any army. If a Yeti smash is walking or E-drags are flying the wrong way, you could redirect them into the core. The invisibility spell will also, as with all spells, spells not work on siege machines. They will not become invisible. Now you could use the spells on the defenses and it will impact the siege machine in that they're not taking damage or the stone slammer could redirect, but the siege machines themselves will not be invisible. Will the invisibility spell impact spells such as the skeleton spell or the bat spell? Let's test it out. It indeed will impact the spells, but it's difficult to use. Let me explain. If you are using bat spells to get to a wizard tower, you need to protect the bats with the invisibility spell, but not hit the wizard tower. Otherwise, they would ignore the wizard tower as demonstrated here when I place the invisibility spell onto the air defense. So it does impact spells. It will turn them invisible, but it's difficult to use. What about the bomb tower and the giga bomb? Will the invisibility spell help you? Well, no, it will not, because again, the hog riders are invisible. 
but they can still be hit. So the giant bomb underneath, when it goes off, will still hit the full pack. The exact same mechanic applies to the Gigabomb because your troops are just invisible. They are still there, so they can still be hit. This is the developer build, guys. It's how I am able to bring you the update gameplay ahead of time, including all of the sneak peeks. And like I said, there is still more to come, so be sure to subscribe to see them. Does the Eagle Artillery activation count troops inside an invisibility spell? Not that it matters that much because it is literally a matter of seconds, but let's calculate it. Each of the troops and spells have been specifically calculated to activate the Eagle if I place one Hog Rider. So there's the five spells. When I place the Hog, the Eagle does activate. So yes, the Eagle does count troops inside the invisibility spell. Will the single target Inferno retarget and hence reset when you use the invisibility spell? Now, I was quite surprised because yes, it actually will. I thought since it was already locked on, it might not. But the single target Inferno will retarget when your troops are invisible. Now, be careful not to place the invisibility spell onto the single target Inferno. Otherwise, remember, your troops will ignore it. But you can use the invisibility spell to retarget the single target inferno now if you want to see all of the updates sneak peek information from yesterday i have my video linked here alongside the subscribe button because we have many more sneak peeks to come take care enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you for the next sneak peek